So yesterday I uh, went with my wife to uh, a city called Talanga in uh, Honduras. It's about an hour away from where we live and um, we're, we were supposed to go visit uh, children's home. And uh, when we were, um, uh, we got lost along the way and uh, as always, you know, there's no GPS systems here that we can rely on. Uh, I don't like using maps, so I do what my dad taught me. Stop in a gas station and ask for directions or stop and ask somebody for the community. So I did and um, I stopped at a pulperia, a local grocery store. And uh, my wife got out and she went to buy some lollipops that she was going to get for the kids. And uh, I asked this guy that was in the, in the sidewalk how to get to the children's home. Uh, he came over and he gave me some directions and everything. And um, so I said thank you very much and I drove a little bit further down, about 20 feet, and I uh, waited for my wife over there. I knew this guy was half drunk. So I looked through my rear mirror and lo and behold this guy comes back. And I said okay. He's going to ask me for money, and I already knew I was not going to give him money because I'm not going to support his habit. But uh, he came over and he said, um, so where are you from? And he started a little conversation with me. And I said, he's like, yeah, you know, I've been drinking, this and that. And I said, why, why do you drink? And he said, because my wife left me. And I, and I said, your wife left you? Why would she do that? And he said, because I wasn't a good guy and this and this and that. So I said, oh, okay. And then he said, I said, uh, well, you should... Uh, you know, instead of drinking, you should fulfill your life with, you know, with Jesus, because Jesus can uh, can give you a, a you know a better understanding of what what life is about. And uh, he said, "Excuse me." And he, after like ten seconds, he came back up and he said, "Do you know why I did that?" I'm like, uh, "I didn't answer, but I knew why." He's like, "Because I was smoking." And even though you're younger than me, the advice that you're giving me is very wise. And I don't want to offend you by smoking in front of you. Uh, I just want to tell you that my cousin's a pastor, and that uh, I've been feeling like wanting to go back to church. And I said, "You should, you should." And um, you know, my wife came back, and I said, "Okay, go back. God bless you. Be strong. You know, uh, look for the Lord." And uh, we left. But throughout the rest of the day, I kept thinking of that guy. And something that I normally do that I didn't do was pray for him. And, and I feel bad. But I'll still pray for him even though I'm not with him anymore. Um, but it, this Holy Spirit convicted my heart about that. About that guy. And, and being spiritual at all times. Not only in church, not only with, with our Christian friends. And, uh, but in times of need for other people. And... Um, so that's what I have to share today, and, and I just want to leave you uh, with, uh, with the thought here is that prayer is powerful. Don't forget to use it. God bless.